join kids hat family What is the matter Tofu? I wanted to be the class leader dear but I didn't win the poetry contest last week and today I accidentally dropped the fish bowl and it broke. My teacher had to put the class fish into plastic bags and take them home. Oh. Yes. I'm sure I won't become the class leader now. I'm sure no one in class likes me now. Hmm. I understand why you feel like that, Tofu. But don't lose hope. Even the worst situations can lead to something nice. I don't think that can ever happen, Tia. Well, it happened to the musicians of Bremen. Musicians of Bremen? What happened to them? Musicians of Bremen. Once upon a time, a man had a donkey. When the donkey grew old and sick, the man decided to kill him and sell his skin. The donkey understood his master's plans and ran away and took the road to Bremen. I will go to Bremen and become a musician. On his way, he saw an old dog lying in the grass. Dog, what are you doing here? I have become so old. I cannot gather the sheep for my master like I used to. So my master beats me. Why don't you come with me to Bremen? We will become musicians there. The dog agreed and the two new friends continued their journey. In some time, they came upon a cat sitting by the road. Looking like the skies were about to come down on him. Cat, what's wrong with you? Why do you look so sullen? It is my mistress. I have grown old and cannot chase the mice like I used to. So she has planned to get rid of me by drowning me in the river. Oh, that's not nice. I have an idea. The donkey and I are going to Bremen to become musicians. Why don't you join us? You can sing a jolly tune too. The cat liked the idea very much and made his escape with his two new friends. They had only walked a while when they came upon a cock. He was singing without a stop. Cock, what is wrong with you? This is not the hour for you to sing. Well, my mistress is having a big dinner party over and she has instructed the cook to cook me for a soup. My head will be cut off this evening, so I'm singing till my neck and throat are intact. Is that it? We all are going to Bremen to become musicians. Why don't you come with us? After all, you already know beats and tunes. And 
So the party set forth on their journey to Bremen, which was still very far. As night fell, they felt tired and hungry. We must find a spot to eat and rest for the night. Everybody agreed and they decided to look for a place to spend the night. In some time, they came upon a lonely house. Its lights were lit and they could hear the sounds of a gathering from inside. The cat climbed up a tree and peeped in from an open window. <laughs> it is a gang of robbers and they have delicious spread of meats and drinks before them. I could use a couple of bones with some meat right now. And I could with something to drink. My throat is parched. Let us find a way to drive the robbers away. The four friends huddled together and at last came up with a plan to drive the robbers away. The donkey put his front feet on the ledge of the window and the dog climbed over his back. The cat climbed on the dog and the cock flew on the top of the cat's head. Once they were ready, they all performed their music together. The donkey brayed, the dog barked, the cat mewed and the cock cockadoodled. The music was so loud that the windows of the house shook and threatened to come down upon the robbers. The robbers were scared by these unimaginable sounds and quickly flee from the house. As soon as they were gone, the four musicians took over the dining table and fed themselves full. Once they were done, they switched off the lights and went to sleep. I will sleep on the straw. I will sleep by the door. I will sleep upon the hearth by the warmth of the fireplace. I will sleep on this beam of the house. Soon they all fell asleep. A little away from the house, the robbers watched as the lights of the house went off. We shouldn't have been scared like this. One of you go back in and tell us what is going on inside the house. And so one of the men made his way back into the house. The house was so dark and quiet that he went to the kitchen to strike a light. But he mistook the cat's shiny eyes for coal and put a burning match to them. Shocked by the attack, the cat jumped on the robber and scratched his face. This scarred the robber and he ran towards the back of the door to find a way out of the house. 
But in the dark, he accidentally stepped on the dog that bit his leg. All the commotion woke the cock and he came flying down to land on the robber's head and cried cock a doodle do cock a doodle do Ultimately the donkey kicked him out of the house with his hind legs The robber ran to the rest of the gang Chief the house is haunted an evil witch lives there she scratched my face at the door stands a man with a knife he cut my leg in the backyard is a monster that hit me with a club and on the roof sits a judge who screamed bring the knife up do Hearing this, the robbers got on their horses and left the house forever. But everything went so well for the four musicians that they decided to live in that house forever. And never made it to Bremen. So you see Tofu, even when you think that nothing is working out, all you have to do is keep trying and things will turn around. Thanks, dear. I always feel so much better after talking to you. You're always welcome, Tofu. Hey Tia, you know my friend Jim who is a year senior in school? Yes, I do. I think he's being very bossy these days. Really? What happened? Well, he thinks that our maths teacher will give us a surprise test towards the end of the month. Why does he think so? Because she gave his class a surprise test too around the same time of the year. Okay, so what's the problem? It's a surprise test, dear. How can he know when she will give it? And he keeps telling me to study for it. Well, he's advising you from his experience. Let me tell you a story to help you understand. The musical donkey Once upon a time, a potter had a donkey. The potter was very poor, so he didn't have enough to feed the donkey. Hence, the donkey was very thin. One night, the donkey was hungry even after his dinner. So he wandered in search of food and reached a nearby field and ate the crops. This went on for a few nights. Till one night he met a jackal. Hello there. Hello. Is the crop here any good? Yes, it is. Besides, it is a lot more than what my owner gives me, so I can't complain. Would you like to have some cucumbers? Yes, yes. I would love to. I love cool juicy cucumbers. Okay. Come. Follow me then, my friend. The jackal took the donkey to a nearby field that had cucumbers growing in it. And they both ate their tummy full. 
From that night, the donkey and the jackal met every night and enjoyed the delicious cucumbers in the field. One night, after a hearty meal, the donkey said he wanted to sing. I feel like singing tonight. No, 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 my friend. You must not sing. But the donkey ignored the jackal's wise advice. and started singing. Hearing a donkey bray in the field alerted the farmers. They came rushing to the field with their sticks. The wise jackal knew what would happen next and jumped over the fence for his safety. But the donkey kept singing till the farmers found him. Once they did, they beat him up and chased him out of there. So you see Tofu, sometimes a wise advice is not to be ignored. Otherwise you will get chased out of a field or fail a maths test. <laughs> yes Tofu, you are right. I think I owe Jim an apology and need to start studying. I agree. so brave. Thanks Tofu. Will you please take care of the bird while I go and change? Yes. Did you save this little bird young man? Yes, I did. That's very good of you. You are a brave boy. While we take care of the little bird, can I tell you all a little story? Yes, yes we, we want, want a story. story! Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. One day, her mother, the queen, told her that she had fixed her marriage with a prince. The son of our friend, King of Shazam, is a wonderful prince. You will be very happy with him. You must leave for Shazam immediately to meet the king and the prince. Take your maid with you and take this handkerchief. Any time you feel confused, keep it close to your heart and you will know what to do. Yes, mother. The princess set forth for her journey with her maid. But on the way, the maid changed her behavior entirely. I refuse to serve you any more. Now onward, you will be my maid and I will be the princess. And if you tell anyone about this, you will be cursed. Give me your clothes and possessions right now. The princess was gentle hearted and so she agreed. As tears rolled down her cheeks, she wiped them with her mother's handkerchief. Suddenly, it spoke to her. If the queen were to know of the maid's behavior, she would be heartbroken. 
Hence, the princess decided never to tell anyone about her true identity and went along as a maid to Shazam. When they reached Shazam, the maid decided to get rid of the princess. I do not need my maid anymore. You can assign her some other job. The minister assigned the princess to work on a geese farm with a man named Kurtkin. It was her job to take care of the geese. The princess learned everything about her job and became a very good goose girl. One day, Kurtkin and the princess got into a fight. And Kurtkin went to complain about her to the king. I do not wish to keep the goose girl. She is horrible and strange things happen around her all the time. Is that so? Let me investigate this matter myself. The king started following the princess. He noticed that she was a sincere and sweet girl and there was nothing wrong with her. He also thought there was extreme sadness about her, so he decided to talk to her. Dear girl, is there a secret close to your heart? Yes, your majesty, there is. But alas, I cannot share it with anyone because no one should know about it. Why don't you tell it to the big boulder over there? It can't tell anyone anything. The girl agreed and told the boulder everything. She didn't know that the king was hiding behind the boulder and heard everything. The next day, the king went to the court and summoned the maid and told her the story of the princess and the maid and asked her, What punishment would be fit for such a maid? The maid did not realize that it was her own story and came up with the hardest punishment. Such a person should be flogged and sent away from the kingdom forever, your majesty. Correct. Guards, take this imposter away. She has been living amongst us as a princess, while the real princess has been toiling as a goose girl. Flog this liar and banish her from the kingdom. The guards immediately grabbed the maid and took her away. That night, the king threw a gala ball and celebrated the real princess as his son's wife-to-be. That is a very good story. Thank you. What do you think, Tofu? Uh, you are right, dear. People who take up another person's identity are wrong. I am sorry, everyone. I lied to you all. It was Tia who saved the little bird, not me. Thank you for telling the truth, Tofu. Yes, thank you for telling the truth. It was very brave of you. 
for your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.